To launch the ClickWid software, simply double-click the icon on your desktop. ClickWid is a password-protected software package. User accounts and access are set up by an administrator within Analyst. Once the user has a unique login ID and password, they can enter it and get started in ClickWid. Once inside the ClickWid environment, all of the tasks the user can perform are found on the left-hand side of the screen. Basic tasks range from running a sample set to system maintenance. If there is any question as to what a task can do, simply single-click the question mark icon to the right of the task for an explanation. Completed jobs and sample sets are seen on the right-hand side of the screen. A common daily task is for a user to submit a sample batch. To run samples, simply click Run Samples under the Task menu. The software knows what tests are available and displays them on the right-hand side of the screen. If more information is required about a test, click the icon of the molecule to the right of the test name. This gives a method description as well as a link to the method SOP. Once we select the test to run, we will click Next. The software will guide us into creating a sample batch for submission. We will name our samples. I can start with a blank, Standard 1, Standard 2, and an unknown. The sample ID column is useful if I have a limb system that requires unique sample IDs. I will also ensure that I'm placing my samples in the proper auto sampler location. And I will set the sample type, such as standard, for the two standards I am submitting in this sample set. I will click Next once I have completed setting up the sample table for analysis. My next option is reporting options for the output of quantitative data files. I have three choices for reporting. The first, a batch report, will automatically output my results after all of the samples in the list have been analyzed. My next option is to output a report after each individual sample is run. The third option is to select no report. Choosing this, you can process your data at a later time. Select your option and click Next. If you would like to include previously collected data in the quantitation report, such as a calibration sample set collected on a previous date, click Yes to this option. In this case, I will select No. Choose the report template you would like for your data. Reports can be customized for your lab, and you may have a few options available to your users. In this case, I will select to output my data for analysis by MRM ratio. Select the report output format. Options range from a Word document, a PDF report, or email notification where once the data is processed, the report files will appear in your inbox at your desk. Next, we will have to set up an equilibration time. This is the time that you allow the system to warm up before the first sample of the batch is injected. I will select 10 minutes. Also on this screen, you will see a reminder for your analyst as to what column should be installed on the HPLC and what mobile phases are required for this application. The final step is to give the job a name. I will call this job Sample Set for EPA Method 536. I can also use this screen to review all of the options I selected as I built my sample batch. Now I will hit Submit to submit my samples and the instrument will go from standby to equilibration mode. I have a clock at the bottom of the screen that will count down the equilibration time so I can see how long it will be before my first sample is run. 
If I look at data that has previously been acquired and I highlight the job name on the home page, I can see all of the samples that comprise this job list by clicking on the Samples tab. I can click the View button to the left of each sample to look at the chromatogram that was acquired for this sample. I can either view the TIC or individual MRMs. Clicking the Reports tab will give me access to the quantitation reports generated for that sample set. If I would like to stop my samples from running, I can simply click the Standby button on the instrument panel. This will turn off the voltages on my mass spectrometer and stop the flow of my LC. In addition, the software will ask me if I would like to delete the samples that are pending for analysis. I will select Yes. I have just walked you through a fairly routine scenario for most labs. The methods have already been generated and all the analyst has to do is select the test for analysis.